What's up internet people? Today um, we've got a problem to solve. You'll notice the car is a little bit lower than it should be. It's uh, not on its jack stands. Um, you might be wondering how that happened. Well, that car right there, someone bumped into it. Today we have special guest, Child, who is going to be driving on the roads in a month. Godspeed. So we'll get this fixed. Check out the damage. Let's see. This little bit right here got pushed up by the jack stand and even poked a little bit of a hole in there. So I'm gonna have to beat that back down. And got a little bit on the other side of the same thing. We might have pushed the floorboard up a little bit more on here too. But it looks like the rockers aren't that terrible. Well, more than they were before. I think it'll survive. And the child will live another day. So, don't worry about them. And it did land on the spare tire well, but I was getting cut out anyway, so that's fine. I think we're good. Not bad. I think that was enough torture for my child. I'm going to go ahead and work on getting some of that sound deadening that last tiny little bit that was in there out. So let's uh, go see how far we get with that. Uh, I'm going to try and get rid of this extra gunk that is stuck on there. And I've got a nylon brush on my drill. We're just going to go at it and this should help pull the rest of that off. It's kind of hard to get the metal nice and flat when there's a bunch of bumpiness on it. I think that just made it worse. Now it's just like rubber smeared everywhere. Wow. Hmm. 
Yeah, that is literally just smearing it around. Uh, that was a bad idea. Oh yeah. It's warming up. This stuff is turning back and down. Ugh, squishiness. Let's try the rust buster. Thought this might be too abrasive, but. Maybe too abrasive is what we need. Nope. I'm thinking we may just have to wait on a sandblaster for the rest of that. At least to get the rest of the residue off. There's still some of this things. Scrapable.
Now y'all are probably thinking, what is wrong with this guy? But uh, the reason I did this was to help see what's underneath all the dirt, right? To better assess the situation. So let's go take a look at what we've got. Starting in the uh, patch area here. We've definitely exposed some areas where there's more surface rust that was hiding under the paint. Got all this surface rust over here. Same thing down in there. And we can really see just how bad this just how bad the spare tire well is. I went through and I dried it pretty good. So, but this just gives me, you know, more reason to want to sandblast, you know, everything that's everywhere on this car. You know, on the outside too, we've got primer flaking off. You can see there's some body fill under, under there. And if we sneak a peek, I don't know if you can see it. But you can see where the emblems were filled in on both sides of the car. And somewhere up under here is the antenna. I can't really get the camera on it and it's kind of hard to see, but I can feel MIG wire sticking out, so we might have to redo that too. As we come up here, you can definitely see we still, you know, there's more surface rust. These floorboards here are going to have to get, get repaired. So, just in general, there's a lot of surface rust everywhere that needs to get blasted away. And everything needs to get primered. There you have it. That's it for today.